Today's recipe is this amazing goan jeere mere. It goes amazingly well with some fresh and soft pao or even some steamed rice. And welcome back to Akshita's recipes. Well, today I'm going to be showing you a Goan traditional recipe. It's called Jire Mire. I'm going to be using chicken in my preparation, but you can make this with uh, beef. You can make this with mutton. You can also try it out with some white pom frit. It tastes simply delicious, and it's made with very few ingredients, which we regularly use in our daily cooking. Now I'm going to show you how to make this jeere mire powder or masala which you can store in your refrigerator and whenever you want to cook up this dish you just use it so every time you don't need to make this powder base you can just make it and store it in your refrigerator in a nice clean dry glass bottle Now just as the name goes jeere mire jeere stands for jeera or cumin and mire mire stands for miri or pepper so you use pepper and uh cumin and some few other spices and prepare this masala and the end result is simply divine now i personally like to have it with some fresh pao it also goes very well with chapati or pori as well as with some lovely steamed rice i will also leave a link in my description box as to how do i prepare rice just like my grandmom used to do it so i'll leave it down in the link below and it's a very healthy way of uh, preparing rice so i'll leave a link go and check it out i have a load of other goan recipes uh, under my playlist goan recipes so if you go on my home page and go to the playlist section and just search for goan you'll get a whole load of goan recipes and i will be uploading many many more too so i hope you liked today's recipe and i hope you give it a try and let me know in the comments box below how you liked it if you did then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit the red subscribe button that you see somewhere here down the screen and become a part of akshita's recipes family and once you have subscribed do click the bell so every time i put up a new video or a vlog you'll get a message for the same so let's head on to my kitchen and start making this amazing chicken jeere mire So let's start by making this jeere mire masala. And remember, this is just enough for 250 grams of chicken. I will leave instructions for a little bigger batch, which you can store in your refrigerator in a clean, dry glass bottle. So this is just enough for today's recipe. That is the measurement of the spices. I'm going to be using four teaspoons of cumin powder or jeera powder. Three teaspoons of uh, black pepper powder, one teaspoon of clove powder. Now just roast these whole spices separately and just grind them in your mixer pot. One four teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, and half a teaspoon of red chili powder. So just mix all of this together, and that is your spice powder or jeere mire powder ready. Now these are the measurements for a little bigger batch, so you can make this and store it. It does have a long shelf life, about a month or two months, and you can use them for making fish uh, jeere mire or beef jeere mire. Now let's go to the other ingredients that we're going to require for this. So I'm making it with chicken. So I'm using 250 grams of boneless chicken breast, which I've just cut into small cubes. Two medium-sized onions, chopped roughly. Five cloves of garlic and one inch of ginger, crushed into a paste. One small tomato, chopped. Two. light green chilies which are the less spicy ones slit and then cut into half one medium sized potato peeled chopped and just kept in some water so it doesn't get discolored one tablespoon of tamarind soaked in half a cup of warm water we're going to squeeze out the juice and some salt to taste and of course this amazing jeere mire powder which is so aromatic and it gives such a beautiful flavor to the dish so let's begin making this jeere mire recipe i'm going to start by heating 2 tablespoons of oil in my pot once my oil is hot i'm going to be adding in my onion and i'm going to be sauteing it till it gets nice and translucent 
on a low to medium flame. You got to saute it well till the rawness of the onion goes away. Now we're going to add our ginger garlic paste that we have um, crushed up in a mortar and pestle. We want a little coarse paste, not a very fine paste. You can use a fine ready-made paste too or I have a recipe for how to make ginger garlic paste at home. I'll leave a link below. You can use that. Now just add your slit green chilies. Now if you want it less spicy, you can keep it to one green chili because we are adding some red chili powder too. So either you alter the amount of chilies or you order the, uh, alter the amount of red chili powder. Now we're going to add the chopped up tomato. And now what is very important is fry all of this very well well so that they get nice and cooked. So fry this for about a minute or so. Now this jire mire, you know, once it's ready, it always tastes better on the next day somehow. And uh, now once uh, everything is well done, you can add your cube chicken. And it's also very important to fry the chicken very well for a minute or so. Uh, now you will come to know because the chicken turns from a pink color to a white and then a slightly brown. Uh, you get a little slightly brown tint. This is also very key that you fry it very well with this bagar. So like I was saying, it tastes always amazing the next day. It's I think with most of the Goan dishes, even sorak or, you know, any kind of curry, always tastes better the next day once kept overnight in the refrigerator. Now we're going to add this jire mire powder that we've just prepared. Again, mix this in well and fry it in well. Now, I remember in the good old days when my grandmom used to make this, she used to actually grind, you know, the green chilies and the ginger garlic and a few of the whole spices on the grinding stone. Sometimes I used to be delegated that job. And uh, even that used to add a different flavor to this dish. But of course, in today's modern age, we need to, uh, you know, be quick and prepare things on an easier basis. So now I've just drained the water from the potatoes and I've added it to the uh, chicken. Now, if you don't like potatoes in your curries, you can drop out the potatoes. I love potatoes in my curry. Even in my chicken curries, I love adding potatoes. I don't know, it just gives a different flavor to the recipe. And I think uh, most Goan dishes, meat dishes, do call for potatoes. Uh, in the recipe. Of course, if you're making this with fish, then please don't add potatoes. It will really taste very weird. So now you're going to add just one cup of water at room temperature. Just mix in everything very, very well. Now this water is going to cook our chicken as well as our potatoes. So now we're going to let we're going to put a high flame to our uh, pot and we're going to let it all come to a boil. That's very important that it boils on a high flame. And once it starts to boil, then we are going to simmer it. So it's very important that the entire pot starts boiling on a high flame. And then once it starts to boil, we're going to simmer or slow down the flame. And now it's time to add some seasoning. So we're going to add salt to taste. I've added about three fourth of a teaspoon. It's always better to add less salt first and then, you know, taste it later and find that if you find the salt is less, then add the salt later. And now we're just going to uh, squeeze out the tamarind pulp and just use the juice that we've squeezed out and add that to our recipe. 
We're going to stir in the salt and the tamarind juice well in the dish. When I was making this jeera mere, my entire home was smelling so amazing, and it just reminded me of my grandmom's home. And then just cover this and cook it on a very very low flame for about ten to fifteen minutes, stirring in between, checking in between. You can add a little more water if you find that it's drying up. And after waiting patiently, just cut up some soft fresh pao. and just pour this amazing jeera mere in a bowl doesn't it look really delicious you have to make this to actually relish the deliciousness of it the aroma of it and it's really really a different kind of dish it reminds me of a kind of a stew although it's not exactly a stew but it just goes i think best with pao the pao just soaks in all the deliciousness and goodness of this jeera mere so the beef uh, jeera mere tastes different the fish tastes different so you can try it out and let me know in the comments box below how your jeera mere turned out you can also pour it on some lovely hot steamed rice and uh, it tastes amazing and the potatoes also just taste divine with all of these spices So I hope you liked today's recipe. This was a special request by one of my regular viewers, Pearl De Souza. So Pearl, I hope you will try out this recipe and let me know how you liked it. And uh, if you all want to sh- me to show you all any particular recipes, please leave your request in the comments box below. I'll be so happy to oblige and you know show the recipe. So uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up guys don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed to Akshita's recipes go and explore Akshita's recipes i have tons and tons of recipes more than 280 recipes and quite a few vlogs and also of course once you have subscribed don't forget to click the bell because that way whenever i put up a video you know you won't miss it out and you won't miss out on it and you'll get to see the recipes because i have so much coming up on my channel i have uh, recipes i have vlogs i have kitchen tips cleaning motivation many 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 things coming up so please stay tuned to akshita's recipes share my channel and my recipes with your family and friends and thank you so much for stopping by and watching my recipe today have a great day and i'll catch you in my next video bye